Hey guys, Paul with CP Addict. Uh, we're out here at Carlisle All Truck Nationals and we're with Garrett Mazon and his 95 Ford F-250. Uh, you and I have known each other, what? Uh, 10, 15 years, something like that. At least. Somewhere around 03, 04. Probably even earlier. Probably. So we met way back in uh, older F-Series.net days. Oh, like, that's a long time ago. Way, way, way back. So. I can remember when you got your, your 95 Ford and it was bone stock. Bone stock. And Old man truck. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, that was sometime around 04 ish, 05 ish, somewhere in that range. I bought it in January of 06. Okay, so I was a little bit more oh. I remember the lightning, not the yeah. S truck. That's what I'm thinking. Lightning was 03. Okay, so that's the one I remember. It's yeah. the lightning in 03. Which I still have. Right. <laughs> so everybody has seen this truck at one point in time i think it's been in obs world they've either seen it on uh, what was it diesel world or diesel power diesel power november of 11. okay so november 11 diesel power magazine i've seen it since the day you've got it right i know it's been through a ton of transformations and, and all that over the years i mean it's kind of like uh, it never stops right ever i mean it's still kind of transforming right now yeah so kind of tell us why this truck what made you buy this this truck and why do you have an OBS truck? So in 2006 I had a 96 F-150 that was uh, super cab short bed, 5.0, automatic, had a bunch of miles, nice truck, a right. little rusty, couldn't put a trailer in. I put my lightning on it, lightning picked the truck off the back off the ground. <laughs> I can't haul with this. Right. So at the time, 2006, the six liters were fresh. The seven threes were still, you know, popular. Right. Well, I mean, they were they were still expensive because I bought my seven three in 01. Yeah. And I paid seventeen thousand dollars in 01. And they were what? Twenty five new. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, they were only. I mean, they were already six, seven years old at the time, and they were still selling for big money. Right. So started looking for a power truck. wanted a power truck. I'm going to tow with it. I'm going to drive it. It's going to be my daily driver. So, look for a power truck. So, I started looking. You know, found a truck in Ohio for 10 grand. Did 120,000 miles. Completely rotted out in 2006. Looked at another truck on the other side of Pennsylvania. Same thing. No good. So, found this truck in an auto trader magazine. 76,000 miles. Did you go to the gas station to get the magazine? Yes, I did. Yeah. So, looking through the magazine, found this. All the options, power windows, power locks, XLT, cruise, you know, all the stuff that you could get in this truck, minus the little things. Right. So, like, okay, it says it's gray. Well, I can't tell. Black and white. Right. Get on the internet, find the dealership, Elkton Ford in Virginia. Okay, look it up. Oh, it's opal gray. That's a cool color. I ain't never seen it before. So, call them up. Yeah, it's still available. Go down and look at it. Get there. It's got some dings and dents in the front fender, some dings and dents in the bed. I remember you talking about those when you got so it. So I'm like, okay, whatever, but clean as a whistle. Old man owned. Guy used it to tow a camper. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, oh, we put a new motor in it. Why? Well, somebody cracked the block, froze it. It was 70,000 miles. 76,000 miles broke, had a cracked block. So they has a Ford Reman motor in it. And that was 76,000 miles they put it in. Clean truck, no rust, low miles, needs nothing. New motor. New motor. Uh, everything I wanted. So when you showed up, this was the truck when you showed up. Uh, yeah. Like, I got to have this truck and you bought it. Pretty much drove it home from there, right? Yeah, 15 grand, put a down payment on it. Guy tried to call me on the way home after, before we picked it up and said, hey, I've got a guy that wants to give me cash for it. He goes, I'll give you your deposit back. I said, no, it's mine. Yeah. I'll be well, back to get it. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Went, so, went down and got it. And had it ever since. So you, you've had it since 06. Um, you know, obviously, you've done a ton of mods to it, which we'll get to in a little bit. And uh, to kind of make it yours, why, why an OBS? Why not a newer Super Duty? Why not a 6.0 when you were buying at the time? Why an OBS? So why an OBS? I had an OBS Lightning, so it's a Gen 1 Lightning. So, familiar with that. 93, right? 93. Okay. That has a 93 F-250. Familiar with that. He's had older trucks. He's had 80s, 86, 73s, 69s. He's always had old Ford trucks. 
I can work on them. I can tear them apart in my sleep. I wanted to learn more about them. I liked having that style. I had an 82 F-150 at the time. I just came from a 96 <laughs> F-150. I had the 93 Lightning. It just, it made sense. And you dodged the bullet on buying a six liter at the time. Yes, I did, because I almost so, bought a six liter. So, <laughs> obviously, you know, you've got the passion for it. Like, we've got the passion for it. We've done all the mods to it and things like that. So, yeah. you know, it, it's kind of one of those things when it gets in your blood, it just kind of stays in your blood. And now we know why, why you have this particular truck. And, you know, you, you learn, I say you learn a lot about them over the last 15, 15 years. 15 years or so, and you've passed quite a bit of knowledge on, and there's a lot of people that have got into the OBS game because of, of your truck. Anyway, you've learned a lot about the OBS trucks. You've done a ton of mods to it. You daily drive this thing. I think you said you had 370,000 miles on the way down here. Yeah, I'll be 371 on the way home. I drive it 200 miles a day. So you, you basically put 300,000 miles on it since you bought it. And from what I read on all your posts all the time, you're not scared to get in this thing and go just about anywhere. I know you came to Texas two years ago and then pulled up a trailer and went home with a load of parts and never like even batted an eye at, at doing that. So, nope. Anyways, we appreciate you coming down and doing a video with us on the truck. Uh, we want to do another one with you on all the different modifications you've done. So, hopefully you'll stick around for that. Well, thanks. Yep. Hey guys, as always, if you like our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have a comment on something that you would like to see or some more info you would like, please leave it in the comment section or drop us a line at info at cpaddict.com.